in free throw percentage at 88 percent daquan has it bounced twice and then off and here comes carlos arroyo the former puerto rican olympian back in 2004. he's doing a good job against dwight howard for the most part tonight 17 points he misses on the jump hook Haslam kept him away from the basket and grabbed his ninth rebound. It's Udonis' technique and strength that's keeping Howard away from getting deep position in that low post. Now Ricky Davis out of the post dribbles out off the double team by Evans. Cook, a right corner three. Daquan has missed all three of his shots in this game. Magic down two, 218 left in the third. Lewis for the tie. Nope. And the rebound to Dwight Howard. Howard's 10th rebound. Kochi has now double-doubled in 12 consecutive games. The Heat have put a lot of pressure on themselves. That's at least the fourth offensive rebound for the, the uh, Magic this uh, half. And uh, then the Heat's got to play defense again for 24 seconds. Dueling on the turnaround. Keon Dueling. Well, double figures for the 12th time this year. He's got 10. He's done it on four for five shooting. We are tied at 73 after the Heat led by 10 earlier in this quarter. And that gives the Magic 17 second chance points. A 21-11 run since the Heat were up by 10. Minute 30 remaining in the third. Magic starting to build momentum. And Dwight Howard starting to turn into the human steamroller he's become. Timeout. We'll be right back. With injury. For now, we're going to get it back to a tight ball game. Late in the third quarter in Miami, our feature NBA Friday matchup. The Heat hanging right with the first place Magic in this Southeast Division battle. First place Magic, last place Heat. But right now, it is a very very tough contest tied at 73 all in the third let's get back out to miami west christian academy in atlanta georgia dwight howard tonight 17 points and 11 rebounds he's also the youngest player to ever reach 3,000 career rebounds surpassing shaquille o'neal bob mcadoo and kevin garnett dwight also is the only player in the nba this year to rank in the top 10 in scoring rebounding blocks and field goal percentage they don't come any better or bigger than Dwight Howard. So 19 points for Howard. He's 3 of 4 at the line tonight. Okay, so Ricky Davis running the baseline. After a score by the opponent, you're allowed to run the baseline and inbound the ball. You can't do it after a dead ball. Magic on a 16 to 6 run to take a two point lead. The Heat were up 10, about 9 minutes left in this quarter. Five on the shot clock. Davis between two defenders. Could not drop it home. And Howard lost it out of bounds. Tough shot for Davis. He had to shoot it over Howard coming over to help. This is what the Heat just did at the other end. Watch this. Shooting over Howard. He goes back for the rebound. Two teammates and the ball hits the end line. You know, Dwight's one of those guys that 10 rebounds is not enough. Wayne Wade missing the wing jumper. They, most good rebounders think double figure boards, but for Howard, he gets to about 15. He's happy. He's had four games this year, 20 or more. He's had a high of 23 twice. Ricky Davis saves it in, but Dwayne Wade with a heat down two. We're in the final minute of quarter three. Hope you're enjoying it here in high def on Sun Sports. Wade regains his footing. Off to Udonis. And Hito Turkoglu down with a rebound. Keon Dooling and Carlos Arroyo, the magic backboard. Howard, Evans, and Turkoglu up front. Here's Evans, the former Laker. Drills the three-pointer. Seven points for Evans. That's his 12th triple of the year. Both teams now have been warned about the lay of game. He had one earlier, and now the magic. Now coaches lead a five now for Orlando, their biggest of the game. It comes with 19 seconds left in the third quarter. Now the Magic now have five players in double figures. Four starters and dueling off the bench. Jameer Nelson, the lone starter, not in double digits. He has only five points. Wade skiing it up. Wow. Wade with 28, and he's done it on 10 for 14 from the field. So D. Wade headed for big numbers, but are the Heat headed for the win? 
We'll all find out together in the fourth quarter on Sun Sports. T.J. Wade teeing it up, as you said. The Magic are 12-0 when they lead on the road going into the fourth quarter.